Well, it is a budget that will fund Oregon for the next two years. Governor Tina Kotek announced her plan for how she wants to spend $32 billion. And the state's budget is taking shape at a time when economists expect more than a $3 billion shortfall and a possible recession in the future. It's a lot to digest, and Fox 12's Connor McCarthy joins us now live to break it all down for us tonight. Connor? Well, Pete and Real, the governor, made it clear that there will be no new taxes to account for that increase in spending. Instead, she wants more than $700 million that would go towards the state's rainy day fund to be allocated to make up for all that federal pandemic money that will be drying up this year. But now it's up to, up to the state legislature to determine where taxpayer money will go. It's her first budget proposal as Oregon's governor that Governor Tina Kotek says will be balanced and beneficial for all Oregonians. My budget outlines a path to make significant progress on the three top issues of shared statewide concern. The housing and homeless crisis, mental health and addiction care, and education and child care. These are all the governor's top issues. She says that together they would make up about three quarters of her proposed $32 billion budget from the general fund. There is a lot of consistency across all the caucuses about what the priorities are. Housing and homelessness, mental health and addiction, and schools, Republican or Democrat. So I am, and I've met with the Republican leaders as well. So I wanna make sure that we focus on what we all think are the shared concerns. The governor says the housing and homeless crisis should be the first to get money. She wants state legislators to immediately pass the $130 million portion of her budget she outlined last week to get houseless Oregonians off the streets. She also wants $770 million to go to building new affordable housing and $172 million to go to long-term rental assistance. When it comes to a request from the Oregon League of Cities to add in reoccurring funds for their own efforts to tackle the homeless crisis, the governor says that's not included. They're on the ground doing the work every day in their communities, and my budget supports that, and we probably need to do more, and it's a starting point, and I can't wait to work with them on it. When it comes to education, the governor wants to increase the state school fund by $9 billion, and she's making it a goal some of the money will be used to boost students' literacy scores. Mental health and behavioral health services would also see a funding increase with more money going to treatment, access, and boosting salaries of social workers. The Republican caucus responded to the budget with this statement saying, quote, The governor focused her budget on several topics our caucus has also identified as priorities. However, we are disappointed there was no initial mention of other crises impacting our state, such as transportation backlogs, a severe drought impacting our agriculture industry, public safety in our communities, or Oregon's severe public defender crisis. Getting people housed, taking care of people who have mental health or addiction issues, and making sure our schools can help our students succeed. I think we all agree on that. Well, the governor did answer one question about public safety, saying that she believes getting people into stable housing is the best way to increase safety in the public. Now, it is up to the state legislature to determine the budget. The governor does not have that authority, and they have until June to pass a budget that will fund Oregon over the next two years. Live in Salem, Connor McCarthy, Fox 12 Oregon.